years of the aqueduct, you know, you had the, the whole system, I guess, was, if, I, if my memory serves me right, was segregated into, I think, 10 sections, and, and, or you had a section every 10 miles. So you'd have at least two, sometimes three caretakers that would manage their 10 mile section. You know, and part of that, I guess, part of their ongoing maintenance in, included everything from grounds management, you know, to wildlife management, to cleaning off gratings, and, you know, all that sort of vegetation type management as well. In the early days, there was a, a section you looked after one complete section, like you know, there'd be, be the O'Shaughnessy uh, section, then it'd be Cement Creek section, then it'd be the Warburton section, and then it would be um, oh, Mill, Millgrave section, and all that sort of thing, right, right through as far as you go, right down to Wandon, or right through to Sylvan Reservoir. Each section had a series of caretakers' huts, and those huts. You know, we'd have everything from, a, I guess, a fireplace to even if they were next to a, um, a grating, they could even have a bed in them because the caretakers often spend all night on a, on a grating in a storm event, you know, cleaning off the grate. So they would quite often sleep in those huts and, and make a fire to keep warm. If I go back a bit, I, my, my cousin had an old EJ state, um, utility and he used to take me up to his farm up at Akron and just got the old Black Spur Road and pass Marina Reservoir when I was 13 years of age, like, you know. So you wouldn't believe years later you'd be end up working up there like that. You would, it, like you would never believe that, would you really? Yeah.